everyone welcome along and welcome back to silver run forest farm steel horse here we're with jake and it is just gone 7 30 in the morning in the back half of september we're down at the riverside landing where he's just been loading some the last of the timber onto the yarder and sending that up to the mill got a call last night from danielle who manages the mill and she is keen that we get the yarder out of the uh the forecourt so we're not going to get i got a little bit of timber there but uh with that lot sent off we might run on down He sent a few loads up there today. And so we'll just head on up and uh, clear out and we can... The yarder was only leased anyway, so uh, he has kept it a bit longer than he intended and it's made some good money for us. And certainly with the fact that these remaining fields are going to start coming up for harvest... Uh, from next time we probably just as well that we tidy off our responsibilities up here and we'll get the cash in the bank and move on to the next thing we won't be cutting any more trees for a little while and you can see there's a that carriage we sent back just run a little bit further than we want so if we just move the helpful having a remote control that's for sure and uh, we can just move it back up the line a little bit and drop it into the pond and then we can head over here. Chat to the little guy that manages the float pond operation. And with any luck, we just need to bump those remaining logs back down into there. We do that without getting our feet wet. Yeah, there we go. Always helps to have a long reach. So there we go. Picked up the best part of uh, 65,000 from that. So this little exercise of leasing the uh, leasing the yarder has worked really well for us. Hold you don't down. And run you back to the store. Bit of weight in there, but not too bad. So we'll just drop this off here. And uh, forestry equipment. We can return. So that's that job done. I don't know that there's anything, and there is not, in the sales that we're particularly interested in so we won't uh, we won't worry too much about that what jake is interested in though is around here what he's now thinking of very much is where on here do we put in uh the ice cream factory he's got page over the line and uh, while it's a bit quiet, I'll probably leave these smaller trees at the front. Let's just have a look here, which trees actually need to come out. So, the unity wants. Is the ice cream production. And this plan is to Put it down something like so. So there's a couple of trees to be taking out there, I think. 
So if we... We can come back and clear them away afterwards, but seeing as we had the uh, chainsaw in the back, We'll uh, take care of that oak tree. One of those oaks has probably got to go, so we'll take the smaller one at the back. Clearing these trees up shouldn't be too much of a drama. We'll uh, just package the wood up and take it across to the... to the firewood, our little firewood stand on the other side here. I reckon that might go pretty close to the sort of area that we need. And he's going to go in here pretty nicely, I think. Obviously got a couple of stumps we need to, to pull out, uh, but that'll work. That'll work very well. So, so that can happen over the next month or two while we're taking care of the corn, flu bean and sugar beet harvests. Uh, but for now, today's task is very much to get back and finish feeding the sort of one and a part, one and a bit fields that we've got ready to go shaping up to be another beautiful day let's take the boater down he loaded it up with seed a little bit earlier Now the other thing we want to be keeping an eye on is just our prices for sales. So barley's at 5.24, oats 9.38. So January is still showing. Excuse me, January is still showing as the month to sell. Uh, so for now, there's. No, no action to be taken. So the plan here is uh, to put more wheat in so we get full complement of wheat fields. We'll do the little one first. In fact, he's been canvassing a bit of discussion with the locals to see if anyone would mind particularly. There we go. If anyone would mind particularly if he um, took this road out and just sort of extended the cornfield up, so... Won't happen this year. Doesn't want to rush into it. Wants to give anybody that would have a an interest an opportunity to say. But that would also involve potentially uh, ploughing out that dirt road that runs up the foreshore there. Just so the field sort of pretty much comes right up to the... Leave a bit of a, a vegetation strip along the uh, along the sound it is our land um, but he just wants to make sure he doesn't upset anyone and obviously leave the leave the road up between these two fields up to the little light station at the point there so that seems to be the most popular fishing spot so 
so it would just be this section in front of us here now you might notice if you look over there in the distance where the uh, the new sawmill used to be uh, of course we had the fire well big development this last couple of weeks was uh, a whole bunch of uh, semis and containers and all sorts of things they basically disassembled the uh, the office building which was the only thing that survived the fire uh, and taken it away so that whole lot now where the uh, the sawmill was with the exception of our little BGA plant is pretty much empty so we'll have another look at it on the way past we're going to be seeding in the other field shortly but it's uh, it's looking very barren over there now even the sawmill ran there for a long time and it's always been a bit of an industrial site. Don't know what it would be much good for. Pretty handy for that BGA. And uh, I think I mentioned that Jake had had a couple of cryptic inquiries from from Wolf who knows that the investors that are controlling proceedings at that site anyway it turns out they are very much interested in developing the site but uh, they'd like to move our BGA along so Jake's not quite sure how to progress that. I haven't so much as put an offer on the table. Uh, and the, the word that Wolf's prepared to share is that they're planning to build... They, they want to knock it down, even though it's only been there a short period of time. They actually want to build a bigger one. So, Jake's immediate thought, he's not interested in, in owning a bigger one, don't have the money for a start, so sort of trying to manage a share, and as an investment consortium, they're uh, a little bit daunting to Jake's way of thinking. He's just kind of enjoying building his farming operation although you know we're getting a few legs to that now so what he's thinking is they have um, they have indicated that they would be a bit flexible and so what he's wondering is well if he sort of did a bit of a He's keen to see somewhere where we could sell sugar beet. So getting some sort of facility that would take sugar beet would be uh, in our interests. And they're businessmen, so they're going to do whatever makes money, I guess. Jake wouldn't mind running a few more cows, so... What he's kind of thinking is the lease that they gave him originally for the area where the BGA is was for, for 20 years. So he's got a little bit of leverage. But he also doesn't want to be running that facility if, uh, if there's a bigger, better facility immediately long side or somewhere else on that block so I'm kind of thinking well can you get him to help him out um, we've got no more space allocated for cows he hasn't built anything he's wondering could he get a 
an opportunity to increase the milking herd and then that'd play into the plans that he's got for the ice cream and the little dairy we've got so he sort of floated that out to an extent without making such a commitment that he's sort of locked into something just to see if they come up with something so I'm going to let that run through to the end of the year I mean that they seem to once they make a decision to go stuff seems to happen and uh, of course there's a railhead there so having the ability to move cattle ultimately by rail is not a bad thing either they go in that direction so we'll just have to just have to wait and see how all of that plays out i think meanwhile we'll concentrate on getting our crops in he's uh, agreed on a handshake with the agco dealership for the uh, for the lease of a Laverda harvester, so we can do the soybeans. So as soon as they're ready to go, it's sitting at the front of the lot over there. That so won't be a hassle to to make that happen. It's pretty much rack rate for the lease, but he'll be able to show off to the the locals how this thing works on a hillside which is the plan there's the last little stripe here let's go over and check out the other field view up there now with that ground all wide open so field situation here pH is not too bad we could probably do with a little bit of lime actually now that we look at it so well we've got the chance i think it might be an idea to run up and grab the lime and pop some lime on the other thing that we with any luck will have a chance to do with all three fields the thing we've got the time is to uh, get the roll up on them yep. Paige wasn't working today and she had a brew ready to go so that's all good must have heard him coming up the drive by the night or one of her spies from the riding school turned him in let's get down and just put some lime on This shouldn't take too long to run across here and you can already see from the map in the bottom corner that in spots we're only adding about a half a point of pH so it doesn't take much lime at all but as we get into the lesser soil Oh, even then, still only at about a quarter of a point of pH. You can see there's still a bit of stuff laying around on the yard there. I 
The other thing that Wolf was talking about, which Jake didn't completely understand, was that they were apparently they're thinking about something that they called an intermodal transfer. Sounded like a lot of fancy words to Jake. But what he thinks they're on about is having like a yard by the because there's a rail siding there or a um, a platform to actually have a place where they can switch road freight to rail freight and vice versa uh, and seems to think this would be a good sort of spot for it which might increase the frequency of the trains but also help the various manufacturing businesses that have popped up so and are popping up so wolf thing to think that'd be somewhat popular with the folks in town that are you know running businesses making furniture and all that sort of stuff so i don't know what that means is to suggest that there's no shortage of things that people could do with that block of land. We're just waiting for the uh, cereal factory to offer us a decent price for our corn and we'll be in there uh, in a flash. So, let's just check, in fact that our cedar yeah 4.5 and i think 4.4 works better and we'll put four headlands just to give us extra room to turn around we will start on the center and that uh, actually we'll do a fifth one and we'll go that do a little bit better. That's gonna work better, I think. So we'll go and get go and get the roller and away we go. Stuck in along the side here, I think, rather than put it in in a T. Pick you off. Pick the roller up. There we go. Looks like our cedar has found his groove. So that's good. Finding enough space to turn around as well. So that's even better. Let's get this little one done. Check that's giving us the result that we want. And it's rolling. Correct. Okay. And we're on track for a reasonable finish today. We'll get uh, the rest of that wheat in the sawmill field over there. We'll 
finish rolling this one before lunch and uh, that'll just give us two to do for the afternoon so let's line up here might be easier to leave a gap I probably should have left a full width of the roll it would have been smart This is a job that we haven't managed to do necessarily in the past for all the fields, so it's nice to have the chance to do it now. I managed to lose two little dots there and a couple of little bits over the other side. But apart from that, we've largely got this field sorted. going on the big one last half a headland short on this field but nonetheless getting the job done and half a field to go we've got two folks helping us with the with the field work we can position a couple of things that we're going to need next time will certainly require the truck here so we can put you over by the cornfield And you'll be good to go. But for now, with rain on the way, we've got all our crop in and growing. We will have weeds also to deal with next time. But for now, we are done. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. See ya.